fatal disease. Now, I wish you understand that you don't get cancer because you sit close to somebody that have cancer. Isn't it? Cancer takes 20, 25 years to develop. Now, first, for example, in the case of lung cancer, lung cancer, you had for several years chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis. And finally, a chronic bronchitis changed into neoplasia, cancer. Stomach cancer. Start always with a simple gastritis. Gastritis. Isn't it? And so on. Every disease starts with something simple to which you didn't pay enough attention. Well, here you can see something very old, 1997. And this, of course, referred to USA, America. We just focus, please, on the last two row about cancer. The first cause of uh, deaths is for lung cancers. Followed by stomach, colon, liver. The last three I mentioned has to do with digestive systems. It means what you eat. Isn't it? Now, isn't it strange that poor people don't get this kind of cancer? Poor people. Why they didn't get it? So why they didn't get this kind of cancer, poor people? Because they don't eat too much. That's very simple. You eat a lot, yes? Then you stress those organs, and finally they got sick. How about lung cancer? Did you ever heard people that live in countryside, on the mountains, in natural place, that have lung cancer? Yes or not? No. They all live in polluted city. Yes or not? Yes. Where do you live? You want to see where I live? Mm. I live in the mountain. Mm. No cars. Next one. Now, this is very interesting also because the previous slide shows something that is 20 years old as data, 20 years old. And this shows the progressions of chronic disease from 1990, that means 20 years ago, almost 30 years ago, The sources is the British, uh, British Medical Journal. 
And in 2020, the increase of chronic disease will be extremely high. And as I say before, chronic disease lead later on to cancer. The reason are because there is a prevalence of lifestyles. Most of these people are concentrated in megalopolis, huge cities. The treatment that you receive in big cities is no more adequate. It does not work no more, it's not adequate. And I will tell you later on why it's not adequate. Eh? And moreover, because in modern life, diseases are becoming complex. So it's a series of diseases, one on top of each other. So it's not a single disease, many diseases all together. And this is the reason why we need a new way of treat people. And this is the model of the dynamic health uh, models. Hmm? I started at the beginning to ask, how are you? And you say, oh, I'm okay. But actually, you're not okay. 80% of you is already in the first stage that we call pre-somatic. In which you don't have any symptoms. All the symptoms are very rare. Perhaps you have a stomachache every three months, or headaches every two weeks, or you don't pay so much attention. And then we see that disease become acute, and then chronic, degenerative, and finally cancer. And this is what we know nowadays in medicines is on top, is a static model. It will move in this way. You have this, you have that, you have that. That means when you go in the hospital, they will see only the block where you are in that moment. The block. These are blocks. Of course, nowadays, most of the, the tools that we use in hospital are not able to see anything that we call pre-somatic. The modern medicine is only able to see if you already have the disease. That means it's already late. But the field where I work is more dynamic. And so we don't consider that moment in which the patient is, but we consider a movement. Because you move from presomatic to cancer. And then you can also move back. And this is a little bit more complex, but I will not spend that much time. This is the dynamic mod model we are working with. Hmm? In the top block, you see presomatic, the gray block. Pre-somatic. I didn't say matrix. Yeah, but so I need you to give more information about the terms. 
You have to translate only what I say. Uh, okay. That's it. So in the first part, the pre-somatic, you already don't, you don't feel any things. Can you listen to yourselves? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. What I are talking about? You can listen only at the level of organs. And you can only understand pain. Pain. If you don't have pain, you think you are healthy. Do you know that brain cancer is absolutely painless? Absolutely painless. So my field is heart. Huh? This is the field where I work. I work with the heart. Yes. Now, last year, a patient, I visited a patient in Hangzhou. Uh, and I say to him, you have a, some serious problem in your heart, so you need to go to hospital now. So he went to hospital, and they didn't find anything. But he insists. Say, my doctor say I have something serious. Please, you, you do all the check you have to do. So they did several checks, they didn't find anything. But he insists. And finally, they did an angiography. That means they went with a special device inside the coronaries of his heart. And he got four stent. Four stent. and I save his life. Because that kind of disease have no any symptoms and you die in a moment. Tuck, finish. This is the table we are working with and we call it bioregulatory medicine. On the left columns, from top to down, you can see the different parts of our organism, so from urinary systems, for example, muscles, bones, and so on. And you see how disease move from left to right. 